are still the best bet. So, like back then, I was reading, um, it was largely kind of fantastic uh, stories. Anything that had got the word magic in the title. Um, books of Greek legends, Norse legends, the children's book of Arthurian legends, children's book of Robin Hood, children's book of Harrywood the Wake. That's a name that you don't hear very often these days. But when I was growing up, he was right up there with Robin Hood. He was basically an anti-Norman terrorist um, in the 11th century, uh, which perhaps explains why he's no longer allowed to be a popular children's favourite. Um, much in the same way as the gunpowder plotters. Um, I, I remember that uh, when we were planning V for Vendetta and uh, David Lloyd had had the idea of using the, the Guy Fawkes mask, he'd gone out hoping to buy one, um, only to find that that was the very year that they'd suddenly stopped making them and they'd stopped calling it Guy Fawkes Night. It was now bonfire night and if you were lucky you could get a plastic Frankenstein mask for Halloween, you know. Um, yeah, like I say, these people have since been more or less removed from history books, you know, for whatever reason. 